Okay, we're having a look at this on a bright sunny day. You can see what you need to do is take the cover off the left hand glove box. Now there's only a couple of screws hold that on. One up the top here goes through the cover. There's one goes through there. There's a peg that plugs in there. Now you've got to be careful when you're lifting it out because it's fairly tight in there. You don't want to go breaking the cover. And of course, the two screws here on the front of the glove box. Now that will expose this, which is usually just hanging down there. That, that rubber cup. Now there's two wires there that go down the back of the bike. They're for speakers, I believe. If you, <laughs> if you put a radio on your bike, you can have speakers front and back. These two wires here, I don't know how well you can see them there. There's a green and a black. Oh, green, yeah, green and black. It looks like a blackish blue, but it's green and black. And that one there is just plain green. That one's live. That one's the earth. Now, if they're not working, you'll find they terminate. And we'll get over the bike. They terminate there at the fuse box. Well, the live one does, and it, that's its fuse there. It's a three amp accessory fuse. Easy to find. Mine wasn't working to start with. I had to go and find that fuse. Now, once you've got all that out, you can start to wire up your panel. Sorry about the sun. sunlight there, making everything hard to see. Okay, there's the, there's the gadget, all mounted on the left-hand panel. Now, I've got some screws turning up today, some hex head um, Allen key had countersunk bolts. These ones are slightly too big and, and they stand a little bit proud and they're a bit daggy, really. Now, if I turn it over, there's the connections at the back. As per the diagram that's on their website, positive and negative going in. You can see those, those little pegs up there. They're, they're just a little bit larger than the, a tiny fraction larger than the ones that are on the bike. But they do plug in because I've tried them first. And the other connectors, they sit on the back. Drilling the holes through there was a bit time consuming and a little bit costly. Not time consuming so much as I had to go and get a hole drill. Um, 30 millimeter hole drill to drill those holes through the plastic. So they're nice and neat. And you can see the cover sits on there nicely. Um, let me see if I can lift this up without a lot of messing around. USB port. And this one here is a cigarette lighter. <laughs> that's to go with the ashtray that's on my motorbike. Now you use that for all sorts of things. There's the on-off switch. All lights up and the 12 volt. DC or whatever voltage you've got coming into your bike at the time, that, that's a light tells you that there's DC voltage down. None of that works until I, unless I've got the switch on. So that's the way it's wired. Goes through the switch and directly out to the other ones. It's fairly straightforward. Let me see if I can reach over and get the piece of paper. Now there's the piece of paper that comes it's on the website. It's a diagram that's on the website. There's a whole bunch of them, but that's the important one. You can see where the wires go. There's a switch on the bottom right, then across to the other ones. And you can put them in any order, really. Just observe the positive and negative symbols on them, the plus and the minus. Minus is negative, plus is positive. Now, you'll probably have to go to Halfords or somewhere like that to get a couple of connectors. The blue ones are too big. The little red ones. Now they're the bayonet type, like that. They don't come with the pack that comes with um, the device, that, that panel. Now there was four little black screws that came with that panel. It does come with a bunch of those, eight of those. And that's enough to fit on there. All those blue connectors on there, they come with the pack and four black self-tapping screws that I could have used to put the panel on. Uh -huh. 
But did I see them there? No, just rush off madly and buy some more screws. So now I've got screws and holes and things everywhere. And as it turned out, the first screws I bought were just the wrong size. Those ones there, just the wrong size. They're a nice screw, but they're not stainless, I don't think. And they're slightly the wrong size, just a little bit too big. So they sit up above the panel. And you can see that there, I think, maybe. They're just a little bit above the panel. They don't look as nice anyway. The black screws that I completely missed, the self tappers, they would have looked really nice. But no, too bloody silly for that. Don't look at the padding, packaging, don't read the manual, just put it all together. Now, the next step is how does that look when it's on the bike, wired up and working? Well, that's our next step and I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, there's our little dash panel installed with the lid on it. USB ports showing the thing voltage at the moment. Now obviously the ignition's on, so the lights are on. And just closing up the USB port, the voltage is still there. Turn that off, lights off. Now the speedo and the RPM, the taco, and the clock, very bright, lovely. And this is only 8 o'clock at night, so the sun's not quite down. So let me turn that off. Isn't that pretty? That's just natural colours too. That's just white light behind there, white LEDs. There we go. And you can see that. Bike locked. All looking good. How nice is that?